the race of life. The need for speed is second nature to a very special group of animals. Every organ, every muscle, every bone is designed for a life in the fast lane. Some of these animals are hunters, others are the hunted. Many move in vast numbers, a sea of speeding bodies. Some supreme sprinters are birds. What they have lost in their wings, they make up for with their incredible legs and amazing endurance. Not all athletes of the animal world are large. One eight-legged high-speed mover is more like a racing car than a spider. Some creatures roll, some run, but one of the best of them all bounces. With strong muscles and strong legs, the leap is one of the most effective means to cover ground quickly. From big cats to antelope, from big birds to spiders, this is a high-octane fight to survive. Life for some is literally a race. To stay alive, they have to run the fastest. They have to keep running for the longest, and they must have some extra tricks. They must do it every day, many times a day, just to stay alive. And the best place for running is where there's lots of space. The vast savannas of Africa, the open prairies of America, and the great red deserts of Australia. Animals who have survived here have used countless generations to evolve their ability to run and run. Some have long legs, some have strong muscles, others have light bodies or sheer force of will. The need to run has led to a huge range of sizes and shapes, but all have one thing that links them. To win, they must run like the wind. One gold medal sprinter is way ahead of the rest. Every detail of his body is built for speed. The cheetah. These big cats live where competition for predator and prey is at its most intense. The African savanna the greatest concentration of large animals on Earth. The herds here contain almost two million, wildebeest, zebra and gazelle. And this is the big cat that can outrun them all. He is slim and light, with long legs built for sprinting. A lone male is hungry, he needs to eat about three kilos of food every day, and today he has been out of luck. Then, a herd of Thompson's gazelle. The cheetah needs to get very close to the gazelles before he reveals himself. Creeping through the grass in silence. The cheetah is completely focused on his target. The gazelle senses something is wrong. The cheetah can accelerate to 75 kilometers an hour in less than two seconds. Soon he reaches a top speed of 120. The gazelle is also fast, almost as fast as the cheetah. With competitors like these, the race is very close. But the fastest doesn't always win. After less than a minute, the cheetah collapses. He cannot keep up his top speed for more than a minute. If he fails, the race is over. He has been taking 150 breaths per minute, and his body temperature has reached over 40 degrees. He may need half an hour to recover before he's ready to hunt again. The Thompson's gazelle has escaped this time. 
Cheetahs hunt by sight. They have a wide-angle field of view and extremely sharp vision. Even the cheetah's stunning eyeliner has a purpose. His black tear marks prevent reflected sunlight from getting into his eyes. The Thompson's gazelle. He needs to get within 30 meters. Then he's off. The cheetah has oversized heart and lungs, so he can effectively get oxygen into those high-power muscles. Even his nostrils are bigger, so he can suck in more air. His flexible spine acts like a spring, adding energy with every bound. His long tail is a rudder, so he can make sharp turns in the chase. The cheetah has a 50-50 chance of victory. Cheetahs kill by suffocating the prey with a firm bite on the neck. The cheetah gets a meal. He lives to race another day. Cheetah cubs stand a high chance of being taken by bigger cats like leopards and lions. The likelihood of these cubs making it to adulthood is around 50%, but in some places it is even worse. In the densely populated Serengeti, only one in ten cubs will survive to become adults. These young cheetahs have a lot to learn. The mother will remain with them to teach them everything she knows. from hunting and stalking, to catching and killing. After 18 months, the female leaves her cubs. Now it's up to them to run the daily high-speed races to survive. The next top runners all belong to the same group. They have long legs, permanent horns and highly tuned senses. And many have an incredible ability to jump. The antelope. One of the most successful herbivores on Earth. There are 91 species and they are all very different. Antelopes range in size from 800 kilos to 2 kilos. Antelopes can be found in Asia and the Middle East, but most live in Africa. The Serengeti Plains of East Africa are home to a colourful collection of antelope. The strangest looking of them all has the shaggy beard of a goat, stripes and the build of a large cow. The wildebeest. She roams in massive herds for protection, but when attacked, she can sprint at over 60 kilometers an hour. But sometimes all these companions can be a disadvantage. A herd this size will quickly graze away all the available grass. They need to keep eating, so they must face a dangerous migration in search of more food, which is excellent news for the Nile crocodile. Our female is anxious but she knows safety in numbers is the key to getting across alive. The wildebeest knows the more time she spends in the water, the greater the chance of being caught. Her luck runs out. The croc tries to drag her under so she will drown. To survive, she must have strength and determination. She's done it, an incredible escape, but she must cross this river twice a year. If she is strong enough, fast enough, smart enough, 
she will survive the crossing many more times to come. Meet the fussy eater of the plains, the topi. These gazelles have developed a long muzzle and sensitive lips to forage among the long grass for young new shoots. But there's a huge advantage to this picky eating habit. This topi gets so much water from his food, he doesn't need to drink. In an environment where drought is common, he survives by not needing rivers and waterholes to live. And when he needs to run, he can really run. Topis can flee from predators at 70 kilometers an hour. The movie star of the antelopes has played a leading role in almost every African wildlife film. He's handsome, sometimes the victim, and always the athlete, the Thompson's gazelle. They prefer to eat short grass, so they follow the large herbivores who remove the longer grass. They are born ready to run. But these graceful animals are the preferred prey of the cheetah. The cheetah can outrun the gazelle, but the Tommy has a clever bag of escape tricks. Thompson's gazelles can turn faster than a cheetah. They can leap higher and they can run for longer. Despite his delicate appearance, the Thompson's gazelle has an even chance of outrunning its predators. The second fastest animal on four legs is the last of his kind, pronghorns. These beautiful herds were nearly wiped out in North America. They're not technically antelopes, as they have a different horn structure, but they fill the same ecological niche, and they can really run. These impressive animals can reach speeds over 80 kilometers an hour, and they're exceptional at endurance. The herd must migrate 500 kilometers every year to survive. Pronghorns are well equipped for running. They have a large windpipe, heart and lungs, and they can outrun all the American predators, wolves, bobcats and cougars. This is a supreme racer running to survive in North America. In the world of speed, only one animal comes close to the cheetah. He's been running on the African plains for 20 million years. And he's only got two legs. The ostrich. The world's biggest bird is not able to fly but he can run like the wind. He might not look streamlined, but he's built for speed. Most birds have four toes. The ostrich has two. Their feet have almost transformed into hooves. Ostriches weigh over 100 kilos. Sustaining a body like this takes a lot of food. Ostriches eat fruit, seeds and grass, but they will often take a grasshopper or other insect for some extra protein. The ostrich is the extreme of bird evolution. He may not be able to fly, but of all the birds, he runs the fastest race. Our next high-octane animal couldn't be more of a contrast to the others. He's only 20 millimetres long, he hides underground, and he has eight legs. Those legs are pretty good for running, 
But when this little creature wants to pack on the speed, he does something very surprising. The golden wheel spider is the only creature in the world that actually turns itself into a wheel to get out of trouble. Golden wheels live among the hot sand dunes of Namibia in Africa. They don't build webs, so the only option is to go out hunting. This one is on the lookout for juicy insects but it will be a challenging day. A pompilid wasp is looking for somewhere to lay her egg, but not just anywhere, somewhere safe from predators and close to a generous supply of food. The golden wheel spider. The wasp is trying to lay her egg inside the spider. If successful, she will bury the living spider and her larva will hatch inside and eat the spider alive. But first, she must sting the spider, and the spider is not about to cooperate. He needs to get away fast. The golden wheel tucks his legs into a wheel shape, and off he goes. He's speeding down the dune at a metre per second. His body is spinning at 20 times a second. It's a dizzying experience. But the wasp is left behind. She must find another victim for her living nursery. And the spider has escaped a gruesome death. Golden wheel spiders do have a venomous bite, but it is not harmful to humans. Their main defense is to hide in a deep burrow, far from predatory wasps. The burrow might be 50 centimeters deep, so this spider has to shift a lot of sand. He will end up moving massive amounts of material in order to build a safe home. He completes his silk-lined burrow and retreats to safety. This tiny marvel of the sand dunes will emerge again at nightfall to continue his high-speed race. The Australian desert is home to another gold medal runner of the animal world. This creature is custom created to survive the incredible heat of the red centre and to cover the vast distances. The red kangaroo. Big reds are the kings of the outback world. A large male can be 1.8 meters tall. And he has a unique way of covering a lot of ground quickly. These animals are perfectly engineered running machines. Half their body weight is muscle. And most of it is around the pelvis area to power those enormous hind legs. Our kangaroo's bound is almost effortless. He is using less energy to breathe now than when he was standing still. He doesn't accelerate by bounding faster, he just increases the length of his leap. Amazingly, he can cover up to eight meters in a single bound. He is running as fast as the desert wind at 60 kilometers an hour. He needs to move fast. The rains have failed and his food supply has dried up. It could be hundreds of kilometers to the next patch of green desert. Finally, food and water. But other animals are also after a meal. A single dingo won't attack a full-grown red kangaroo, 
but a hungry pack will give it a go. As the kangaroo speeds up, so do the dingoes. But the wild dogs have to move their legs faster and faster to keep up. The roo is cruising. He can keep this up for as long as it takes. The dogs quickly tire. The roo lives to leap again. From the day the joey leaves its mother's pouch, the red kangaroo must run and run in order to be the winner in the desert race. At the top of the athletic table, the speedsters are truly breathtaking. Animals faster than cars, more maneuverable than a gymnast, and with more clever moves than a dancer. These are the supreme athletes, perfectly evolved to win their races every day in the wild. New day begins. There are the prey who strive to evade, grow stronger, and outlive the next attack. There are the predators who live to track, strike, and devour. Each is racing to survive the day. Each is running to live to the next. Each is battling the other to carry on. And all must run the race of life. The smartest survival trick on Earth is to take to the skies, equip yourself with killer weapons, and become the ultimate invisible predator, a hunter from above. These creatures have eyesight second to none and beaks like talons. They have taken the art of flight to a whole new level. Their prey has no idea they're coming. Even their faces are adapted for precision hunting. Some fly by day and others by night. There is no time when you're safe from these predators. They are fierce, determined, and prepared to fight for their food. Falcon, owl, or eagle, these are the true masters of aerial predation. Ten thousand different varieties. They have scales and claws, and most of them can fly. The most ferocious birds in the sky are large, strong, and fast. They're known for their powerful talons and beaks. They are the raptors, the birds of prey. They are the supreme predators of the air. From the mountains of Eurasia to the forests of America, death can swoop down at any time. Animals on the ground spend their lives running and hiding from these finely tuned aerial hunters. This is their kingdom. The domain of the raptors. Beneath the treetops lives an apex predator. Alone in his ivory tower, the king of birds prepares to do what he does best. Regal, powerful and magnificent. The eagle. One of the biggest birds in the sky and one of the deadliest. 
Eagles are large birds of prey. They are perfectly honed to be supreme hunters and efficient killers. These perfect predators perform at their best in large open spaces, places where they can fly high and see for miles. One of the largest eagles in the world lives in a land of desert, rocks and open plains. The wedge-tailed eagle. These distinctive birds live in Australia, Indonesia and New Guinea. Like all eagles, her eyesight is over three times more accurate than ours. And her talons are like daggers. She spotted something in the grass. A rabbit flashes the alarm. She can dive at 70 kilometers an hour. The rabbit can also run at 70. It's an even match. And both players have an equal chance of winning. The wedge-tailed eagle gets to eat, but tomorrow she will have to hunt again. The poster girl of the eagle world lives in the mountains and plains of North America, Eurasia and North Africa. She can be trained to hunt animals as big as wolves. These crows are not about to stick around and pick a fight. The golden eagle. With a two meter wingspan and talons as big as a child's finger, the golden eagle was always going to beat the crows. They can fly fast and far, and most have no natural predators. The bald eagle. Impressive aviator and proficient fisherman. It's no wonder that bald eagles have been selected as the symbol of the USA. The fastest living animal on Earth is a bird of prey. He can be found from the Arctic to the tropics. The peregrine falcon. Falcons prefer to eat birds. Their wings are custom built for the aerial acrobatics needed to catch them. Farmers' fields are ideal open spaces for hunting. The falcon scans the sky. He's seen something in the distance. Unlike eagles, falcon wings are slim and sharp-edged. These birds thrive on pure speed. A diving peregrine clocks over 300 kilometers an hour. At top speed, the air pressure could damage the bird's lungs. So they have special bones in their nostrils to break up the airflow. The falcon starts the chase. A rock dove has seen the predator. The falcon hesitates, then in go the wings. He drops into a high-speed dive. He's aiming for the dove's wings. The dove dives too. Got it. After a touch of preparation, the peregrine gets a hearty meal. The rock dove put on a spectacular escape, but it was not enough to evade this hunter. Falcons are experts at catching smaller birds in flight. This is how they've become such successful raptors.
A small falcon with a spectacular skill lives close to these grasslands. She's grey and brown with delicate features. But she is still a killer. The kestrel. This one is on her way home. Her partner helps with looking after the kids. He will stay with her for life. But the chicks will fly the nest soon, when they're four to five weeks old. Kestrels have a wingspan of less than a meter, but it's what they do with their wings that makes them stand out. This parent is out hunting again. She's after small animals living in the grass, mice, reptiles, or even insects. The field has just been harvested, attracting lots of birds. The kestrel has seen a mouse. She hovers, then drops. Hovering is very difficult, but kestrels are experts. They face into the wind and use tiny movements in their wings and tail to stay over the same spot. They can lock onto their prey and take perfect aim before they fire. Another parent is looking for signs of a mouse. He could be in luck. Even his dive is precisely controlled. Kestrels have another amazing ability. They can see ultraviolet light. And this takes our predator to his prey. This mouse marks his trails in the grass with urine. Mouse urine reflects UV light. So the kestrel can see ribbons of rodent trails in the field below. He's got the mouse in his sights. He lines himself up for the strike. He's on target. The kestrel has used all of his talents to snatch this mouse out of the grass. Kestrels can have up to seven chicks. You would definitely need to be an expert hunter to feed that many hungry mouths. But the chicks are fighting even before they leave the nest. At least one of this lot will probably die. As they fight for food, they are fighting for their lives. Chicks that are small or weak will not manage to get any food. It's brutal, but for kestrels it is the only way to make sure the strongest survive. The bare bones of a dry land are home to a bird closely connected to the dead. It's a bird that will strip a body down to its skeleton. A bird that seeks out carcasses. Its presence is seen as a sign of impending death. The vulture. He's easily recognized by his bald head and sharp hooked beak. Vultures are birds of prey, but they do not hunt and kill. Their prey is already dead. Vultures feed on the rotting meat of dead animals. Some can smell a carcass from over a kilometer away. They are designed by nature for ripping the flesh from large animals. As well as the distinctive head, Vultures have long, broad wings and strong, sharp talons. The vulture battles against his companions and other predators. If there's food lying around, it's not so easy to just turn up and take it. The best place to be a vulture is where lots of large animals are likely to die. The African savanna, where the largest herds on Earth move across the plains in their search for food. 
and home to hundreds of hungry predators. Every day, countless large animals are hunted and killed by lions, leopards, cheetahs and crocodiles. Once the hunter has had his fill, the vultures move in. But vultures are not the only scavengers here. The giraffe carcass attracts hyenas, and they're prepared to fight for their share. Today, it looks as though there's enough meat for everyone, so the competing scavengers are calm. The vulture's bald head is convenient for digging into carcasses, but it also helps to keep their blood cool in the hot African sun. Despite their ugly reputation, these vultures are providing a vital service. By eating away any rotting meat, they are keeping the grasslands clean and free of disease. This wildebeest has probably been killed by a lion. He doesn't know it, but he is helping the vultures survive. Vultures are spectacular kings of the air. They can soar up high on warm air currents to get a real bird's eye view of the plains below. This male can maneuver his wing feathers to finally adjust his flight. He has seen signs of a kill. Time to find a vantage point and have a good look around. If a vulture can't find a carcass, he will look for signs of a hunt, a pride of lions or a pack of hunting dogs. They've spotted some hyenas. Time to move in. This time, the hyenas are not so keen to share. The vultures must wait their turn. A dead buffalo looks more hopeful, but a much larger predator has got there first, and he's not in the mood for sharing. These scavengers will not leave the lion to eat in peace. Once the lion has eaten his fill, he will leave, and the vultures will get their chance with the leftovers. Vultures play an important role in the ecological web. They are the undertakers of the animal world. By removing the remains of dead animals, they keep our forests and fields clean. A hunter who relies on stealth makes her home in these forests. She is fast, but her prey have no warning she is coming. This bird can fly as silently as a summer breeze. The owl. She has the unique ability to be a quiet killer. Sharp eyes and sharp talons descend from the sky in a silent and sudden swoop. These striking predators have been around for over 60 million years, since before the end of the dinosaurs. They are stunning creatures with remarkable abilities. Owls are birds of prey, and they're very successful. Over 200 different species exist today. The size range is enormous. The world's biggest owl is 150 times bigger than the smallest. The great horned owl is one of the largest and has been known to attack humans who come too close to its young. These young great horned owls will grow up to be apex predators with almost no natural enemies. But like most raptors, the owl's life is tough from the moment she is born. The stronger chick will fight for food and grow bigger, while the smaller one will become ever weaker until he can no longer compete. The surviving chick may even eat its dead sibling. The Phantom of the North, also known as the Great Grey Owl. This one has heard something on the ground below. 
his huge face funnels the tiniest rustle in the grass to his ears. He can use sound to precisely home in on a small mouse or vole. Owl flight is also unique. The key to her silent movement is in her feathers. Their serrated edges and velvet smooth surface allow her to slip through the air, causing almost no disturbance. As the sun sets, there is no rest for the small mammals and reptiles that owls like to eat. Most owls are nocturnal, and they are expert at seeking prey in the dark. The forest below looks peaceful, but it hides many small animals. Perfect for hungry owls. Unlike many birds, owls have eyes on the front of their faces, so they can see in 3D. This is excellent for pinpointing prey. This barn owl is about to begin her hunt. She needs to kill and eat about six times every night to survive. She watches and listens intently. Every sense is highly tuned as she tries to work out where to search for food. This mouse is not aware she is nearby, but his movements are nervous and quick to minimize his chance of being caught. The owl begins the game. Only one animal will win. She is capable of hovering if she thinks there might be prey hidden in the undergrowth. But this time she doesn't need to. The mouse has been spotted. Another successful hunt for this owl. Raptors have evolved in many ways, from the eagle, the falcon, the kestrel, the owl, and the vulture. Each has adapted to find food